This morning we will be reviewing the North Carolina CTE Proof of Learning Administration and Reporting Guide. The guide is still in draft status. This is the second version since summer conference. This is posted in the CIMC State Assessment Moodle. This morning we will be focusing on security, uniform procedures, medical exemption request, reporting irregularities, data entry, documentation, and local procedures for CTE state assessment. Comprehensive CTE test training will be available as early as next week with recordings and resources. This will be designed for new CIMCs and charters. Also available will be shared resources such as checklists, slide decks, and Kahoot for quizzing. The guide can be broken down into four areas. First, general information, pages one through nine, POL types, pages 10 through 18, CTE state assessments, which we will be focusing on this morning, pages 19 through 48, and the appendices, pages 49 through 131, and we will look at those that are relevant to CTE test training. The purpose of CTE state assessments are to meet the requirements of the North Carolina CTE Federal Plan under Perkins 5 Indicator 5S4. State assessments may also provide EVOS data for Standard 3 of the North Carolina teacher evaluation process. It is also essential that all individuals understand the importance of uniform policies, procedures, and protocols, and especially for maintaining test security. Test security, found on pages 19 through 20, states that secure test materials developed by the state of North Carolina may not be used for purposes other than those that are approved. Secure test materials include, but are not limited to, item banks, operational and field test books, test questions or test book sections, and answer documents. Secured test materials may be either electronic or paper format. Please make sure that these items are secured at all times. Do not copy, reproduce, paraphrase, file disclose, discuss content, or use in instructional activities. Also, please make sure that access is limited to those with legitimate need. Please keep in mind that before each test administration, test administrators and proctors must read and review thoroughly the North Carolina Testing Code of Ethics and its sanctions. The Testing Code of Ethics is located in Appendix C, pages 56 through 59 of the guide. Information about CTE state assessments. Generally, CTE state assessments are 100 multiple choice questions. They can be either online or in paper pencil format. Minimum amount of time allowed for testing is 120 minutes with a maximum of 240. Please plan for extended time and after 120 minutes, a two minute break should be allowed. In rare cases in which students must leave the testing area for lunch, the classroom administration must alert the students to one, if it's paper pencil, clip paper booklet, and they cannot go back. If it is online, they are to note they to pause and resume once the test has begun and they cannot go back. Online test. Online assessment tutorial information can be found in Appendix D, page 60 of the guide. Schools must ensure that every student participating in an online assessment has completed the online assessment tutorial at least one time at the school before test day. Students should not complete the tutorial on the day of test. Please note the tools, reset, flag, strike, highlight, and the calculator. Also found are instructions in the appendices, Appendix M, page 82, SIQ. Please review and edit prior to test day. If you are administering paper or pencil test and you are a PSU, please know that the CIMC PPOC assesses the PDFs involved. 
information concerning this is can be found on Appendix E. Field test versions in Appendix N. Print only needed copies. Order bubble sheets involved. If you are a charter school, the CIMC PPOC orders tests involved. This can be found in Appendix F. Order only needed copies. Order bubble sheets and return to TOPS within two days. Accessibility features. This can be found on Appendix G, page 74. Please note that these are available to all students participating in the CTE state assessments, and also make sure that this is routine practice prior to test date. Testing window. According to the State Board Policy, Test 015, CTE state assessments must be administered within the final 10 instructional days of the school year for a year-long course and within the final five instructional days of the semester for semester courses. Special circumstances such as family emergency and family relocation, school principals may request to administer the CTE state assessment outside of the testing window. This form is located in Appendix H on pages 76 through 77. All students that are eligible for state testing are noted in the graph. Please understand that OCS and ECS students will take CTE indicator POLs aligned to their modified blueprint. Students enrolled in credit recovery may be administered the appropriate CTE state assessment no later than 30 days upon completion of the course if required by the PSU. Medical exemption requests. This information can be found in detail on Appendix A, pages 49 through 51. Students unable to participate in the CTE POL during designated window. Requests must be complete and requests are due by the end of the POL administration window. Reporting student data. Please see graph below and know that this information is located in the NC CTE admin, the defined data collection windows for fall, spring, and CDM. Before test day, which is located on pages 29 through 35, you will find information on how to prepare students for testing, online assessment tutorial information, how to verify enrollment and class enrollment rosters, review appropriate accommodations, set assessment schedule in NCCTE admin, how to edit SIQs, how to order paper test materials, paper pencil only, how to order braille edition tests, how to pre-code answer sheets, paper pencil only, how to organize approved sub supplemental materials, also included is a review checklist of required materials and a review of test security. On test day includes information on pages 36 through 44 that review reminders, verify materials received, and administer assessments according to uniform policies such as the SAE script, accommodations, breaks, bathroom emergencies, and report irregularities. After testing information is included on pages 45 through 48, how to count and return test materials, complete review of accommodations, review answer sheets, paper, pencil, pack and return answer sheets for scoring, paper, pencil only, complete special codes, and how to store and return test materials. Scoring. Scoring can be done online automatically. If you are doing paper pencil, you will need to mail in or you can do local processing. You will also find in this information state scale versus local scale. Located in Appendix J is a sample of a scale. Field tests should be scaled locally. Located on pages 42 through 44 are how to report a testing regularity. Testing regularities are not limited to eligibility, accommodation, security, monitoring, procedure, or technical. 
Process irregularities can be reported in NCCTE admin on the day of occurrence. You should provide detailed information. You should also submit to the regional coordinator and make sure that you keep local documentation. Located in the appendices is also important documentation. In Appendix AA, you will find the CTE POL accountability form. In Appendix EE will be the CTE State Assessment Security Agreement. Located in Appendix FF is the Statement of Accountability for CTE State Assessment. Documentation should be stored for five years. Please note in the next two slides, you will find all the appendices that are relevant for CTE state, attest, state assessment. In A, medical exemption request process. All of these appendices will go into greater detail. On Appendix C, testing code of ethics. Appendix D, online assessment tutorial. E, preparing test materials for paper pencil administration. F, Charter and Regional School Procedures for Ordering Paper Pencil Test Materials. Accessibility features for CTE assessments are located on page 74. Appendix H, Request a Test Outside of the Window, page 76. Appendix I is Manual Enrollment and How to Do That in CTE Admin. Appendix J is Field Test Conversion, a Sample Scale. Appendix K, Remove Student Enrollment and How to Do That in NCCTE Admin. Appendix L, Set Assessment Schedule in NCCTE Admin. Appendix M is How to Edit Student Interface Questions or the SIQ. Also in greater detail in appendices for CTE State Assessment, Appendix N, Field Test Forms by the PSU. Appendix O, Calculator Use for CTE State Assessment. Appendix P, Hospitality and Tourism Formula Sheet. And Appendix Q, Assigning Roles in CT, NC CTE Admin. Appendix R, CTE State Assessment Administration Directions and Script Online Format. Appendix S, CTE State Assessment Administration Directions and Script paper pencil format, and Appendix T, Approved Accommodations for CTE State Assessments. Appendix V, Report Testing Violations and Irregularity are located on page 103. Appendix W, Complete Special Codes. Appendix X is Addressing Technical Issues. Appendix Y is Testing Do Not Disturb Sign. And last, Appendix Z, references to the State Board policies, and those are located on page 117. Thank you for listening this morning, and happy testing.